starting off turn nine and things are really starting to happen. So this melee here, I don't know if I talked about this yet or not, but uh, the Cowboys are ganging up on Agent 911. They both were unsuccessful. Annie Oakley actually managed to hit Agent 911, which is very difficult. Rolled a two. Um, I think you only can hit him on a four or less. Uh, unfortunately, she was unable to penetrate. Now, um, Pat Garrett revealed a katana, so I gotta find that katana from the deck and I'll put it right there so you can see it. Um, luckily he missed, because that would not <laughs> feel too good. Um, Rocky North Streams has had some bad luck, which is good luck for me, or maybe I've had good luck and that's bad luck for him. But he missed both of his challenges. Um, his, uh, what's his face, Sir Gawain, actually failed. He fopped his, so I was able to choose where he went. Unfortunately, I rolled a four, and I had a choice between these two, um, so I chose the further away. Mm. Uh, scary thing, though. Spartacus is right there! Ah! Um, so, yeah, that's frightening. He Things could be looking very different. Um, it could be that he's going to make a pretty decent press against um, the modern labyrinth, depending on what Milena Arabato's card is. Oh, um, I did, I don't know if I talked about this yet, I tried my my um, my grenade throw at Milena, totally missed, I needed a four or better. Um, if I had been there, which was maybe where I was going to be, I would have needed a five or better. I rolled like an eight or something, so totally missed regardless, so that didn't really come into play. And I th I'd like to think the fact that he moved one step further away that coaxed her a little bit further because I did I did get to try. Um, and that was that was nice for me. Uh, so this turn what are we looking at? Oh and I did I did hit Boris again so he has one life left. Um, while I don't think I don't I don't know how likely it is I'll have a chance to take that last life point away, I think it'll definitely make him a lot more cautious, um, which will be good. Uh, so I do have Paraxian Stan in here, and I have Sergeant who has some grenades. He's going to be trading them to Geronimo this turn, so hopefully I can hold these two off and um, score some points in the modern labyrinth. I, I, you know, it, as long as my, as long as. Uh, Rocking Horse Dreams doesn't get super lucky with his two cowboys. I'll be able to hold them off in the Colonial Labyrinth for one, two, three, four, five, six turns, which is pretty good. Um, so I'm going to take my movement phase, and then if anything spectacular happens, I'll let you know. But basically, my plans are do some trading, maybe move Paraxian. Let's see. He might actually have a shot at Milena. I don't know, I would have to check that out. Um, yeah, he might though. So I'll have to check that out. Um, Marcus, where does he want to go? I don't know, that's going to be my biggest choice, I think, is to decide where does he want to go. Because I don't necessarily want to put him up here because then he's going to have to fight these guys. What? Do... Oh, but he's actually pretty decent melee. Maybe I'll have him go and... Yeah, okay. I'm going to have him go to the Colonial Labyrinth, I think. Hopefully they don't have guns. I'll see if there's a sneaky way I can get around there. All right. So I'm in a bit of a pickle. He's never gonna move this guy out of my way. I don't think I'm really gaining anything by trying to stay in there and fight. If I move, um, Geronimo can hit me here with grenades and he can hit me over here uh, with his rifle. But if Spartacus goes this way, he can be hit by his rifle. Um, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can shoot all the way out here. Um, the problem is Praxian's armor is really what really good. Um, but I think it's time for me to take. The offensive again and although they are going to be shot at twice 
I'm just gonna have to chance it. Try to take Geronimo down a little bit. Um, I mean, he he can fire now, and then he'll use his next turn to fire again. But I have I have to do something. Um, Gawain gets his five movement, and he's just gonna make the long trek over. Those two fails. Last turn. Kind of, kind of upset thing. Um, she'll spend two movement to transfer her white card, which we know are throwing axes to Pat. So that's two. And I think I don't know what I'm gonna do there yet. Boris will move three, four, five, six. So I think that's the Tower of Maneuver. I could go there and try to remove Praxian. Let's see. That is healing. So that's movement. So I can't even get in there to move him. Wrecking Horse Dreams turn nine movement has come through to me. Um, and I think I figured out of why Boris is going to the future labyrinth. I think he might actually be going towards this tower here to try and heal himself up. If you recall, he's at one life, and that tower is indeed the tower of, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't say on, I'm looking at this little chart here, that's what it looks like though. It's the one that heals you, it's the like the star tower, or the, the great vortex, I think is what it's called. So he aims to enter this vortex and come out more whole of a man. Um, I, I wish him well, I think that would make a nice little arc for Boris Andronov if he, the, the kind of horrible person, gets injured as a result of his, of his villainy and then enters some vortex in which his very soul is torn asunder and reassembled by cosmic forces that he has no hope of understanding, but maybe he achieves some understanding and comes out whole. I'm, I'm interested to see if he goes there, what the result is. I'm excited for that. In other news, um, I, Agent 911 has successfully scared off um, Pat Garrett and Annie Oakley. Kind of frightening thing is uh, Annie Oakley gave Pat Garrett a card, which makes me think it might be a revolver, a long pistol, or a powder pistol. Um, some sort of pistol. Though she's good with pistols too. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's not the kind of... Uh, she's better with revolvers and long rifles. So it's I bet it's a pistol or something. Unless he's just kind of trying to make a super character here. Uh, who knows? But they, they went away. And I don't... I, I, maybe he's changing his tactics and making a play for the future Labyrinth. That could be also, since they moved there. Um, oh, so... Sir Gawain moved up here. Rocking Horse Dreams told me once, rather cryptically, that he needs to stay away from grenades or that they're not safe in his hands. And I think we've just proved that to be so. He did a charge on um, Geronimo with Milena and Spartacus. They're actually going to be here at the end of their turn movement. But I, I was able to do op opportunity fire there. Now, since this L-Wave grenades has an area effect, it affected both of them. And... Um, I was able to hit them both and penetrate them both on a maze result. So what that did was it made it do an extra point of damage to both of them. So they both took four damage, which is not good for Rocking Horse Dreams. So now I have a choice to make. Paraxian gets his opportunity fire too. I need to decide which one he's going to shoot at. Um, and I, I've actually already made this decision. You'd think it might be a conundrum because Spartacus is dangerous and Milena has the card. I'm more worried about the card than I'm about Spartacus though. And I'm actually more worried about Milena Erebato than Spartacus at this point in the game because, you know, cards are starting to come up. And so the melee 
warrior's stock has crumbled. Especially now that he doesn't have much life, he's not going to want to be charging into the fray as much because as you have seen, and as he has seen, um, the future is the L wave grenade and the future is not charging. <laughs> um, in Milena, you know, she's she's going to be able to score more points than Spartacus with her movement and better adventuring capabilities. So I'll go ahead and roll right now. My chances of taking her out are not very good. Maybe I should take, yeah. Yeah, she's got a yellow stealth. So that might actually mean I should go after Spartacus because, well, let's, let's figure out the numbers. So I'm going to get a minus one, minus two, I think a minus three to hit. Yeah, I think a minus three to hit. So my white against, if I'm going after her, white against yellow is a eight, minus three is a five or better. If I go after Spartacus, it's a six or better. Uh, chances of taking someone out. Maybe I will go after Spartacus. And I, you know, I, I like her better as a person. So they're kind of similar, though. I think Spartacus, I didn't, I don't, I didn't watch his movies, but I think he was like a slave who was fighting for the freedom of the gladiators. Um, and Milena is also fighting for freedom, but I think South America is a lot more interesting than ancient Rome. So, Spartacus, I'm going to try and get you with Paraxian. And if Paraxian, the downside of this is if Paraxian does take him out, he's going to lose his varmint rifle because of the sort of karmic effects of the game. If you kill someone, the weapon you kill them with goes away. All right, here we go. So six or better, and I got an eight. I do not hit. I come before you this morning because I made a mistake. I think I, well, I actually didn't check to be sure that I made a mistake, but I think I made a mistake. I think I was supposed to roll to see which one, um, whether I was supposed, to, whether I was to shoot at Spartacus or at Milena Arabato, I didn't roll. Thankfully, I missed anyway, so it didn't end up mattering. Um, desperate times, something, something, desperate measures. So, I mean, I knew I was going to get hit there, but <clears throat> I think no matter what, with the range of three. I would have been hit here by the grenade, here by the grenade, Praxian missed, but Melina and Spartacus are in it to win it, and um, they didn't fare so well out of that. Also, Boris has one life left, and I have hit him a total of one time for all of his characters. Um, I don't know if I just played a little too passively. I usually play pretty aggressive. Um, I think he psyched me out. Be that as it may, Milena will reveal her stiletto. It will be green against green. She needs a seven to hit. Spartacus is a white against green, so he needs nine to hit. And that's the end of the turn.